Hi children, welcome back to computer class. Today we are going to continue our chapter 1 and last class we have learned about the IPO cycle. IPO means input processing output and today we are going to learn about the different parts of a CPU. So we have learned in the last class that computer works on the basis of IPO cycle that means uh, the input is given to the computer the computer process the input and it and it process the data and then it gives the output so this is the ipo cycle and all these processings are uh, all these processings are done in by using cpu and cpu is known as central processing unit all the data processing happens in cpu so the data processing happens inside the cpu therefore it is called the processor so cpu is also known as central processing unit and it is also known as processor and the cpu is made up of two main units namely alu and cu alu means arithmetic and logic units and cu means control units so all these processings done inside the c is uh, doing inside the cpu and cpu consists of two parts that is alu arithmetic and logic unit and cu that is control unit that is the input is given by using an input device to the cpu this is a cpu cpu consists of a control unit and alu arithmetic and logic unit after the processing it gives the output by using an output device what is arithmetic and logic unit so alu or arithmetic and logic unit does all the mathematical or arithmetical operations like addition and subtraction so all these mathematical operations are, uh, are inside this arithm uh, arithmetic and logic unit it also performs logical operations for example it can arrange numbers in ascending order and it can make decision it is also used to uh, find a sentence is true or false and it can also uh, it can be it can find which number is bigger or smaller so this opera this kind of operations are performed in alu or arithmetic and logic operations all the mathematical and logical operations take place in alu next is control unit control unit or cu it is the part of the cpu that controls the input and output device so the part which control input and output device is known as control unit so control units control the input and output device the cpu tells the different parts of the computer what to do so the cpu or the cpu tells the computer different parts of the computer what to do and uh, what uh, what actions they have to perform it is similar to the activity that brain does in the human body you all know brain controls our body and it gives signals to different parts of the body and in the same way control unit control unit controls the input and output devices and it also tells different parts of the computer what to do the cu is mainly responsible for the alu how to respond to the data or instructions received by the cpu we have learned that alu or arithmetic and logical operation unit uh, can, uh, does all the arithmetic and uh, mathematical operations but control unit is responsible for telling the alu what to do or how to handle the data received so the control units control the input and output of a computer next the memory unit stores all the data that is to be processed memory unit is used to store the data that is to be processed in the picture you can see a memory unit here so this memory unit store all the data uh, that have to be processed so we have learned in this chapter today we have learned about the parts of a cpu that is arithmetic and logic unit and control unit that is the inputs are given to the cpu by using input device and the processing is done inside the cpu cpu consists of two parts control unit cu arithmetic and logic operation logic unit alu and after the processing the outputs are given by using output devices so we have come to the end of the chapter one in this chapter we have learned different today we have learned different parts of a cpu and you have uh, exercises in your textbook do the exercise in your textbook itself 
write and study the spelling and we will meet in the interactive session thank you